Welcome to The Creative Present, a show that's dedicated to expanding your creative self-expression and at the same time, getting your projects done. And I'm your host, Joshua Townsend. You know, that's where it all starts, creative present. You got to be present and you got to be creative and you got to be present to your creativity. So what we do here is we offer a very unique and customized approach to help you develop your own approach to your creative process because we're all so unique. We're all so different. We all have so many skill sets that we're born with that are innate to us and then we need to develop in different ways. So there there can't be a cookie cutter situation in terms of if you're really going through an authentic creative process for you and your projects and your work. And we do offer up tools and techniques, a very wide variety of them based on where you are in your in your creative process and what phase of develop you're in. Ultimately, the work is always around story creating, storytelling, and story sharing. So if you're an actor or a writer or a director or a producer, and in any medium, because story is at the heart of what we do. Along with the tools and techniques that we work with, we also work with the inner state of beings. So awareness, sense and sensibility development, getting in touch with who you are and where you're going, because that part of the process can be left out sometimes. And what we're working here is a merging of states of awareness, states of being, along with the proper tools and techniques for the project that you're working on. All of this work is really getting to one thing and one thing only, which is helping you to complete your projects and then get them out into the world. See, we all need to break this old habit, this old paradigm of not completing, not starting, not getting stuck halfway through or or not putting it out into the world. And we all have a propensity towards one of these phases. And what we want to do now is do something that has been around for millennia. In fact, it's a cycle that's based on the natural world, which is called create, release, relax. So this idea of creating something, releasing it, and then relaxing is part of the natural world, and you can see it everywhere. In fact, in the microcosm, we do it every single day, every moment of our lives, because we're all breathing. And when you do breathing, you create a breath, you release the breath, and then you have a little moment of relaxation. And that continues on and on and on. So in that kind of natural creative process, there is no time. There's just timing. There's no force. There's a conjuring of a state of being. So depending upon where you are in your phase of development for your project, you'll be tapping into different areas of this kind of work. Now, a lot of these practical tools and tips are only there to serve you to get the project done. We tend to really want to focus on what phase of the development process are you in? Because we're all in a different place with our projects. And again, our work here is to get projects completed and out into the world. So in general, we have the create, release, relax cycle, which is very akin to generating, organizing, and delivering. So you want to generate the material the raw material that you're going to turn your project into. And that needs to come from an organic place within you. So it can be um, a part of who you are as a creative being. That'll also give you the energy to take the long road to get you know, the project actually uh, completed. Then there's the organizing, which is where more tools and technique and skills come in. Where you're organizing it, you're making it a sequential uh, project based on the medium that you're working in. And then of course, delivery. Delivering it just depends upon what kind of project it is, what medium you are envisioning for it, and what the technology of the day is. So a little bit about me. I have a very strong background in acting, writing, producing, and directing. I started off doing a lot of theater. Uh, I was involved in uh, a lot of physical theater, uh, comedy, circus skills, gymnastics, And uh, I tended to work very technically. So I was technically very proficient. A lot of things I worked with were also required that I be very strong in, in, in my technical approach. And over the years, I found that it wasn't as fulfilling for me to do that kind of work anymore, uh, which 
put me on my longer journey, which was going into uh, the work of, of breathing. In some worlds, it's called pranayama, the world of yoga. And I worked with phenomenologists. I worked with shamans. I worked with curanderos. I worked with uh, theater practitioners of a certain ilk, which really rooted me in a more nature based approach to the creative process. And I took all those discoveries and I merged it with the work that I do here. And this work is now uh, expanding and growing to help more people to actually focus on their projects, complete their projects, and get them out into the world so that our development, the phases of development are connected to our development and so if we, never, if we never finish our phases, we can't go to the next level. We can't keep upward spiraling. And part of this work is to making sure that people are completing so we can complete the cycles as we go up and up and up in our creative development. Super grateful to have you here. This will be a fun and exciting time. Please come back often. We're posting several times a week, so there's lots of tools and techniques and states of being and awareness exercises to work with. Send me a message when you can. Ask me questions so I can answer them here. Thank you so much, and have a beautiful creative day. Thank you for listening. If you love what you're listening to, please subscribe and then share with fellow creatives. For more, go to joshuatownsend.com. 